What's up? What's happening? What is going on, Caleb? For anyone other than the fans of teams or people with big money on brackets, uh, the NCAA tournament is all about the upset, at least for me. And 2018 has been insane for upsets. So, hey, let's make a video about the 10 biggest upsets in NCAA tournament history. Oh, and I almost forgot, since everybody's bracket has been busted by these upsets that we're about to talk about, we are giving you a second chance to win plenty of cash. A $500 gift card is going to be given out to any of our lucky subscribers who enter our bracket second chance giveaway. The link and everything is going to be in the bio on how to do this. And then on top of that, I'll probably pin a comment and there's probably going to be some sort of link right here. Maybe. $500. Can't go wrong with that. Join it. Now for this video. Number 16, UMBC versus Virginia. This is the first time ever a one seed has ever lost in the first round, made shockwaves all across the nation. UVA was not only a one seed, they were the first overall seed, and UMBC ended up winning the game by 20 points. It is the greatest upset, maybe in sports history, and we will never forget it. Number 15, Lehigh versus Duke. Duke spent the entire season in the top 10, and the game was played less than an hour away from Cameron Indoor Stadium. But guess who they had? They had CJ McCollum, who ended up turning into an NBA star, and he led Lehigh with 30 points. Fun thing about this was actually UNC was in the same bracket, so there were a bunch of UNC fans there and became Lehigh fans just to watch Duke lose. Number 15, Middle Tennessee versus Michigan State. Many people expected Michigan State not only to make it to the Final Four, but to win the entire tournament. Uh, Middle Tennessee hit their first six shots and then really showcased what they were capable of and didn't stop. Uh, Michigan State's defense was actually something that they considered to be the best in the NCAA, but Michigan State just couldn't handle Reggie Upshaw, who ended up scoring 28 points in route to one of the greatest upsets of all time. Number 15, North Fork State versus Missouri. Mizzou entered the tournament with a 30 and four record and was one of the most enjoyable teams to watch in the 2012 NCAA season, but they were undersized and that's why they were fun to watch, but also in the tournament, it comes back to haunt them, especially with somebody like North Fork's uh, big man, Kyle O'Quinn, who ended up scoring 26 points and had 14 rebounds to add to that. Uh, the ending of the game was wild, but North Fork managed to survive and win by two points. Number 15, Hampton versus Iowa State. Iowa State had five players who averaged a double-double throughout the season, which is insane. Uh, they won 12 of their last 13 games, including two against the Jayhawks, who were ranked in the top 10 both times. So it wasn't just against no-name competitors. Uh, Iowa State was actually up by 11, with only seven minutes to go in the game, but turnovers and bad decisions allowed Hampton to finish on a 14-2 run and win the game by one good old point. Number 15, Coppin State versus South Carolina. Maybe this is slightly unfair, but South Carolina was slightly new to the NCAA tournament, but they finished the year on a 15-1 run, so I mean, they deserve the two seed. Coppin State had never won a tournament game before and then took the lead in the second half, but thanks to out-rebounding the Gamecocks 41 to 30, they were able to force the upset and take advantage of a high seed not used to the pressure of being a number two overall seed in route to yet again, one of the greatest upsets of all time. Number 15, Florida Gulf Coast versus Georgetown. Affectionately called Dunk City, Florida Gulf Coast wasn't even a D1 school until 2008. Uh, Georgetown and Michael Porter Jr., on the other hand, were the Big East champions and, of course, well-established in basketball lore. Uh, it was tied 31-31 to -31 in the second half, and Florida Gulf Coast went on an insane 21-2 to run 
Uh, Florida Gulf Coast went on to win another game and they were the most enticing team to watch, maybe in NCAA history. Uh, electrifying dunks, crazy three-pointers. I will never forget that Florida Gulf Coast run. Number 14, Cleveland State versus Indiana. Just as a stipulation, with a very, very similar roster, this Indiana Hoosiers team ended up winning the national championship in 1987. But in 1986, they couldn't keep up with Cleveland State and the pressure they were bringing. Uh, Cleveland State had continued to peer in the tournament for many, many years to come. And kind of because of this, but kind of also because they had this reputation of being a mid-major team that had a chance, you always think of Cleveland State with a little bit of that upset potential. Number 13, Buffalo versus Arizona. Plenty of people thought Arizona should have been ranked higher and had a real chance to win the championship here in 2018. But this was the first upset of a long list of upsets in 2018. Buffalo was the first team to end up destroying brackets. A 21 point victory, it wasn't even close and everybody looked ashamed to say that Arizona deserves something more than a four seed. Number 14, Mercer versus Duke. Duke featured two first round talents, including Jabari Parker, who ended up going second overall. And the game was close throughout, but Duke ended up opening up with a five point lead with less than five minutes to go in the game. Mercer then outscored Duke 20 to eight in the rest of the game and the Atlantic Sun Conference gets one finally, uh, you never hear this often, on the Atlantic Coast Conference. Huge one, we'll always remember. Uh, what other games will you always remember as some of the biggest upsets in first round history? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new to Total Pro Sports, hit the subscribe button. Uh, other than that, uh, like the video. Uh, how are you? Okay, good. I'm glad to hear it. Until next time, I'm Mike Canalupo. Thanks for watching.